you guys are not in a comfortable enough position, I think, that you can say, yeah, let's bench our best player. Yeah. Yeah, I was happy about that. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's it's frustrating because obviously a lot of the talent is there. Um, and I think maybe that's that's part of the reason why why expectations are so high. And you know, if we look at the league table, they're they're two points back of first place overall. So I don't know if it's necessarily that they're gelling. Obviously, they brought in a couple of new faces in, in Cristiano Ronaldo and Jaden Sancho, who's sort of expected to make the difference. But sometimes it, it takes a little bit to be be accustomed to a new team. So perhaps that's the reason. Now I wouldn't say they're they're falling off a cliff or anything. Like like I said, they're two points behind first place like this isn't really a time typically to kind of hit that red siren or the alarm whatever you want to call it but with the expectations super super high I guess that that's where we're at right now and I guess that's a good thing if, you, if you're a Manchester United supporter like myself so I personally think you know as, as time goes on like things will start to work itself out as, as people get more chemistry in the side as Solskjaer figures out what exactly his best 11 is um, but but for now, yeah, I guess questions have to be asked. Jelani, I, let me let me throw it to you there. You can probably pick me up there a little bit better. Yeah, no, I, I agree with a lot what you said because the new guys coming in the door, you do have those growing pains. You need some time to really gel to see what works, what doesn't work. I think that's what Solskjaer is doing right now. So, you know, a lot of people were talking about leaving Ronaldo off the starting 11 being a, you know, sackable offense. I don't think that, you know, necessarily. I do understand Ronaldo. He obviously had that 95th minute winner against Villarreal uh, three days earlier. Um, so you would think that he'd be playing, he'd be at least starting. Um, but again, I think, you know, moving forward, we're going to have to see this a bit more. What does Solskjaer want to do um, in terms of his units, in terms of his starting 11? Uh, and it, it will take time. It will take time. That's why, you know, I'm not too, what's it? I'm not too worried, I should say. Um, again, like you pointed out, Michael, like we're, we're not too far from the top. Um, you know, as time goes on, I think things will be fine. But again, you know, there are questions about consistency with uh, Solskjaer and, and also there's rumors, you know, what's going on with Van Der Beek, you know, um, not playing enough. Uh, and I think, you know, it, just myself included, I think he should be playing more. I think it's uh, talent being wasted on the bench. Um, you know, for example, that's just an example of things or, or some things that, you know, Solskjaer has to clean up. Uh, in terms of who he wants, what he wants to see, uh, because if, you know, we move forward and there's still more questions, that's when we really talk about, OK, does this guy need to go? Uh, but honestly, I'm, I'm fine for now, just for now. <laughs> no, I'll I say, mean, I'll say. That there, there is something to be said, though, about not starting Ronaldo after the way he's been playing, though, guys. I think like, you know, not only is he Cristiano Ronaldo, he's an absolute machine and he's one of the best footballers that have ever played. But he came to United and he's been playing fantastic since the beginning. It took him no time to adjust. So I don't know. I, I I said this last week and I said, I don't know if Solskjaer is your man. And I think it's proving time and time again. It's not time for the sirens, like you said, but I do think him not starting with like that's that's a you know an elementary decision. Like that's so obvious, even for a person that doesn't know football. In my opinion, you gotta start him. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I wasn't too happy, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what he does moving forward. I mean, yeah, he, he got in what? Like, he got in what? Like forty minutes of action, yeah. and that was as, as Jelani said three days ago. He played nine, the full 90, 95 minutes or whatever. Like he's played a lot of football since he, he arrived here at United. And as you meant, like he's he's getting up there in age. What, 35, 36 mm -hmm. years old now? I don't know. Does he still have the capability to go ninety minutes every single match, or was this a match where he felt? I guess Ole Gunnar Solskjaer felt that he could perhaps get the best out of Ronaldo if he just gave him about 40, 45 minutes. Now, obviously, hindsight's 20-20. Yeah. That, wasn't, that, wasn't, that didn't work out, but who's to say Ronaldo would have, you know, won United the game had he played the full 90? Like, it's, it's, it's up in you the air. In favor, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't it's, know. I think you guys aren't in the comfortable enough position that he should be making those calls. Yeah, I totally agree. So many players have been pushed to the limit, especially this season with the Euros and the Copa America and then the World Cup qualifiers. I totally get that. But you guys are not in a comfortable enough position, I think, that you can say, yeah, let's bench our best player. 
Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully he gets uh, some starts in uh, 90, full 90s moving forward.